The first reach extending from New Lake is a low gradient meandering channel. Within the former Molly River system, low gradient areas provided good spawning and rearing habitat for northern pike and excellent habitat for yellow perch spawning, rearing and foraging. Unexpected bedrock conditions discovered in the field provided an opportunity to reroute a portion of the channel and create the finger-shaped backwater habitat. This habitat area provides refuge for fish. Adapting and redesigning to field conditions ultimately provided benefits, saving costs and providing a surplus of habitat relative to the original design. Standing snags were installed within the channel to allow for birds to perch in the riparian zone. Fallen logs connect the channel to the floodplain, slowing down fast-moving water and providing flood mitigation during high flows. A trestle bridge crosses the channel and will provide for conveyance of a pipeline from the Mine Rock area to the Polishing Pond. Downstream of the trestle bridge, a riffle structure enters into a newly constructed wetland. The wetland is connected to a new valley blasted into bedrock. The stripped bedrock emulates what would have evolved in a natural channel over 10,000 years. Material optimization allowed for use of the blasted bedrock as constructed material for other parts of the mine site. Coconut coir matting provides bank stability until vegetation is established on the shore. Boulder and log structures were strategically placed on the banks. They provide habitat complexity and also provide immediate hydraulic complexity. The features help attenuate bankful flows, providing erosion protection. Downstream of the coir matted bedrock valley area is another low gradient sinuous reach. Novel construction methodologies were employed in the field to minimize disturbance of vegetation along the riparian zone. The original design called for stripping of this area through construction. A creative approach provided great benefits from a cost perspective, minimizing excavation and post-construction planting needs while providing for immediate erosion and sediment control. In higher flow conditions, silts and clays are deposited in the, in the riparian zone, provided nutrients and minerals for plants and soils. The channel will be used as an effluent discharge location through operations. A pipeline will be constructed to discharge flows from the polishing pond into the channel through a diffuser. Effluent discharge will be through a diffuser pool that was constructed to provide the appropriate volume required for mixing and aeration of polishing pond effluent. The pool is rectangular and measures 18 meters by 25 meters and has a depth of 2 meters. The final reach of the channel flows into a backwater area from Upper Three Duck Lake. The shallow vegetated area provides good habitat for pike spawning and refuge, and habitat feeders have been constructed on the shore to provide terrestrial habitat. Target-sized round stone was placed in the faster velocity water in this reach to provide optimal walleye spawning habitat. The final reach of the channel flows into Upper Three Duck Lake, effectively diverting and reconnecting the Molly River system.